Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Ian MacDonald from uh, Edenfield IT Consulting. And uh, firstly, wow, I'm really pleased to have been nominated uh, as a finalist at this year's prestigious uh, PSMA Awards, which uh, I'm looking forward to attending for the first time in, in three years in person. Atisa have asked me to provide a, a brief outline of the paper that I submitted. Um, firstly, I guess the title, uh, Demonstrate to Differentiate Value, Value, Value. So, firstly, what motivated me to, to write the paper? Well, simply, ITIL 4. There's been quite a subtle change uh, with ITIL 4, where the ultimate sort of reason d'etre uh, for, you know, the service provider is no longer to focus on delivering sort of service quality, but to actually now uh, recognise the need to create uh, ongoing value from the IT services that they provide to their customers and the sort of you know, like capabilities of the uh, support organization. So this sort of subtle change from service to value. Um, if you read ITIL4 uh, publications and you do a course, I mean, value ripples through every page, every diagram, every definition, every concept. Okay, so value, value, value. But and an accusation that's often made about ITIL, which is it talks a lot about the importance of value, but it doesn't really give um, you know any guidance on sort of how to sort of go about doing it and how to ensure that customers actually recognize it. So the response to ITIL 4 was, well, actually, this is really important and there is a bit of a gap. So hence the, if you like, motivation uh, and desire to sort of uh, write a paper that can help perhaps people with better understanding actually what is value and what's required. So what does the paper sort of concentrate on? So in terms of the sort of headline bullets and high level structure, uh, first of all, um, to demonstrate value, you need to understand it. Yeah. So we look at sort of various, if you like, forms of value. So what's value creation? What's value add? what's value for money, and what's value leakage, okay? And then explaining how customers determine what means value to them. Because one of the key characteristics of value is it is determined by the beneficiary, by the receiver, by the customer. So, you know, what sort of influences their view as to whether they're seeing value or not? The differentiate element of the title is really reflecting a more commercial perspective, which um, again, if you think of the current sort of economic climate, um, you know, your competitors, and to be honest, whether you're an internal provider or an external MSP, there'll always be somebody out there who claim to do what you do better, faster, cheaper. So you need to differentiate yourself from competitors. And importantly, and this is a key message, if, you, if your customer doesn't really see and feel value, then actually you're a cost. And that ain't a great place to be, particularly in the current uh, climate. So, so then I also sought to look at, well, actually, you know what? We do a pretty good job in the main. Um, but actually, there's a lot of what we do, which we think is really good, that customers don't actually recognize or see any particular value. So, you know, things like our service reporting. We might be delivering fantastic service month after month after month. Every service level target is met. Um, but they don't mean a lot to the business because we typically measure IT things. And I'm not sure what 99.98% of something means in terms of success to the business. So there are things we do which actually, you know, paint a really positive picture, but the, the customer doesn't really sort of recognize it in the sense of value. So what are the things we perhaps should be doing to better convey the value to, come us, to customers, you know, better convey the value that they, they see and feel? So, for example, you know, uh, currently cost is important to, to everybody, but benchmarking, you know, if your customer thinks they're paying too much for IT, and, and my view is 
just use that as a default. Doesn't matter, you know, uh, what you what what you actually um, charge for your services. They'll always think they could get it cheaper elsewhere. Benchmarking demonstrate actually, you know, in terms of you know comparison with reference groups, you're doing pretty well. In fact, you're pretty competitive. You know, back to service reporting. Why not actually measure the service in terms of contribution to, you know, the outcomes that are key for the business's success. So a number of very practical things we can consider to actually do and change, which actually paints a far, far more positive picture on the value that IT brings to the customer. What's also important in the paper is the importance of your people. You know, um, they used to say, I think in the old days, you know, an organization's most important asset is its people. Um, well, I'm not sure it was true then, and it, probably isn't true now it's probably data and information but you know the insight the knowledge the skills the expertise of your people once you can get them focused on what we mean by value bringing that to bear then that's really important because you achieve nothing without your people so there's a an element of a, a people piece in there and then the final piece is um marketing and promotion you know, you know, no one flies a flag for you. Yeah. So to demonstrate value, to differentiate yourself from others, then don't be afraid to fly that flag. So the importance of marketing and promotion and some sort of techniques on, on how to do that. So general points around the paper. Um, yeah, to paraphrase Oscar Wilde, um, I'll use uh, one of his famous quotes. Um, I'm far too busy to write you a short paper, so I've written you a long one instead. <laughs> uh, you may notice um, it's a detailed paper, I think some probably some 60 pages, but packed with useful and relevant information that you can use. And the reason it's a sort of big paper is typically when I write a paper, I like to, um, and, and pardon the pun, differentiate uh, my papers from others and add value to the reader. Because whilst I can give insight into maybe new concepts and um, outline um, suggested new sort of methods and approaches, um, I don't fall for the idle for sort of trick, which is I'm telling you what's really important, go and do it. I actually give you practical guidance, you know, things that are proven things that I've been involved in, things that I know will make a difference, okay? And that's why I like to think my papers add value because it gives you almost something to go away and actually implement, okay? So, you know, I'm not sure if there's a term as a value strategy, but if you were looking at how do we improve, how do we enhance, how do we better demonstrate value to our customers? How do we differentiate ourselves from others? Then this paper is a pretty good plug-in to the work you might want to consider taking forward. So I hope you find the paper really, really useful to you and your organization. Um, I should say, finally, uh, good luck to my fellow finalists uh, and respected authors, Paul Wilkinson and Katrina McDermott. So uh, uh, yeah, so we, uh, we're all winners. Uh, we're all at the final, so uh, let's enjoy the night. And of course, um, extend um, you know, good luck and uh, well done to all the other finalists in all the other different categories. So I hope to see you at ITSMF, uh, the ITSMF conference, ITSM 22, and I hope to see you at the awards night in Reading. I'm looking forward to it, first time in three years. So let's, uh, let's, have, a, let's have a great conference and a great awards night. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.